Okay. We all know that guy. That if we invite him out on the boat, wild things are gonna happen. But for whatever reason, it never stops us from inviting him out. No matter what, we know if he's on board, somebody's probably going swimming, and a lot of the times, more than likely, it's him. Welcome back, guys, to this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. And today, we're gonna go ahead and stay on that subject, and we're gonna talk about that guy, and why, for whatever reason, he does always seem to find his way onto the boat. Maybe it's because he's the life of the party. We know if he's there, fun's gonna happen, and somebody better always have a camera on the ready, because you never never know what to expect, but somehow he always does the craziest things. And a lot of the times it'll start with that common phrase, hold my beer and watch this. But no matter what, somehow he winds up talking everybody somehow into getting involved and doing silly things out on the boat that when you're doing them, you know are just not going to have the best of results. And sometimes he'll even go out there and do silly things himself that as soon as you see him get up there, you're like, hey, grab the camera, watch this because it's about to go down. <laughs> Now you really do have to watch out for that guy sometimes though because he can be a pretty persuasive figure when he wants to be and sometimes he'll try talking you into an adventure that you're like man that sounds cool let's go do that but you gotta remember who you're talking to and who you're dealing with if the idea is coming from him you really better second guess it before you decide to go ahead and jump in And if you're not cautious and find yourself getting sucked into it, well, you're probably going to suffer the same fate that he does. Also, that guy, you've got to be careful when he starts talking because a lot of times he will over embellish his own skills to make you think he can do things that he probably can't do. And it's just because in his mind, he knows he can. Like that time he was like, hey, I can trailer the boat down to the ramp for you. Don't worry about it, bro. I got it taken care of. Only to find out that he didn't quite have the skills that he claimed to have. Even seemingly easy tasks sometimes can turn into complete complete messes with this guy. Guy sink right there, fish rod holder, 80. <laughs> it could be something as easy as trying to refuel the boat, or maybe he's decided he's gonna try and help you out with some routine maintenance. And one of the biggest things that that guy will do is he will do anything and everything and tell you any story in the world to get behind the helm of your boat. But whatever you do, if you know it's that guy, don't let him get back there. It's never going to end well. <laughs> He will start off telling you things like, I've been driving boats for 35 years, yet somehow he's only 32 years old. He'll tell you he's docked a boat a million times, and you don't have to worry about it. He's got it. Go ahead and do what you need to do, and he'll take it from here. But you have to remember, when that guy starts giving you these stories, that's basically the same thing as him looking at you and saying, hold my beer and watch this, because it's typically going to have the same results. And typically, also, that guy will have that Superman complex. They will think they can handle any and every. Everything. It doesn't matter what the situation is. They can get people involved and they can get the job done. Now I already know there's somebody down there in the comments making the comment. Bro, it's not always that guy, and you're 100% correct. Sometimes it is that girl. Ladies, you are not completely innocent as well in this situation. In fact, a lot of the times, that girl's even more fun than that guy. But the situation's a little different. That girl typically is not quite as easy to spot, especially the first time, than that guy. A lot of times, that girl will be straight up honest with you. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to do this. And yet she'll succumb to the peer pressure and wind up doing things she probably shouldn't be doing anyway. Then of course there's that girl who, once you get a little bit of adult libations into her, gets that same Superman complex that that guy has and thinks she can do anything. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Passa Colada, Aaron Ng 13, Andre Mora, Billy Miller 13, Pyrosibicity, David Klein, Aha Save, Bub Ski, Yoren Doll 94, Bonnie Lou Coffee, Yerald Dominic, and Tenny Bashing did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.